Combat to be so fierce, yeah. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Your skills are simply magnificent. is on its way here. Take defensive positions. Here they come. We cannot allow Zhao Zhao to take our beloved land of Jiangdong from us. Xi, Xi, Xi! Used to be bested in a land battle. I shall do whatever it takes to protect you. Shield unit, stand firm. Do not let Cao Cao's army get a single step closer. Cao Cao's army is undeniably impressive. I fear our lord is in danger. Yeah. You'll never take this land. I don't care how big Cao Cao's army is. We'll send it back where it came from. I will not let you harm the princess or Lord Sun Quan. I shall protect them both from any and all foes. I failed. How did we let Cao Cao's army get the better of us? You are amazing, yeah. Uncle. Surrender or die! Zhao Zhao's army is every bit as fierce as their reputation suggests. Their sheer size is simply staggering. However, I refuse to give up. I shall reform our ranks, and victory in the next battle shall be mine! Halt! The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! Sun Quan? No. The entire Wu army. Their military readiness is quite impressive. After losing both its patriarch and eldest son, one would expect their clan to grow weaker. But it is even stronger than ever before. Sun Chun has focused on solidifying his base while at the same time capturing the hearts and minds of the people. <laughs> We are facing a man with his feet firmly planted on the ground. That is not an easy opponent to topple. If so, we have no choice but to overcome them with superior numbers and strategy. To that end, our Navy has managed to improve through rigorous training. For now, we shall continue to set up camp on the Shengjiang and focus on strengthening our Navy. Once we have enough men, 
we shall swarm the U forces. Our eventual showdown will be fought on the shores of Chibi. Yeah. to you greenhorns no matter how good you are at ground battles. Come and see the power of experience for yourselves. It is clear that you are an officer of considerable renown. I look forward to facing you in battle for myself. I misread the enemy's momentum. And it cost me the battle. This is yet another painful memory to haunt me over the years. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. So, thank you. It seems Sun Quan has refused our demands to surrender. Hmm. He clearly is ignoring the present situation at his own peril. He truly is nothing more than a wild animal. As such, we should hunt him down like one. All right. I gotta practice swimming. I need to be able to protect Lord Cao Cao even if I fall off the boat. Looking at you. I think you'd probably just float in place. Besides, try not to fall off the boat in the first place. Hmm. Shu Chu is right. There are times when you might fall from the boat and need to swim. We need to be prepared for any eventuality if we seek victory. Ridding ourselves of Sun Quan and Liu Bei here will place the land within our grasp. Everybody! Go and start the preparations for the upcoming naval battle. My lord, please forgive my interruption. I wish to speak to you about appointing yourself to the title of Duke of Wei. The Duke of Wei? My lord. You have nearly united the entire land in your name. No man has ever achieved what you are on the verge of accomplishing. Therefore, I cannot imagine that anybody would object to you assuming the role of Duke of Wei. Wait just a moment. I don't agree with your assessment. If our Lord becomes the Duke of Wei, he is no longer acting on behalf of the Emperor. He would simply have his own army and territory. Doing so would cause him to lose the moral high ground of fighting in the name of the Han. Most people would accuse him of trying to seize power for himself. We need that moral high ground if we are to create a new order for the land. That is why Master Cao Cao welcomed the Emperor. We cannot undo the work we have done. Shun Yu, Dong Zhao, I shall put this matter on hold for the time being. We must focus on the battle that lies before us. That is a matter that can wait until after we have brought an end to the chaos. Our showdown with Sun Quan draws ever closer. If anybody has any doubts, I wish to hear them now. I would like to work on improving our naval readiness. 
An actual battle would be best, but we don't have the time for that. I've heard that there are bands of pirates in this region. Perhaps we should deal with them, so they do not interfere with our battle plans. I fear there are many soldiers who will suffer from seasickness. I am worried that we do not have enough physicians. My only concern is that the scouts sent to check out Sun Xuan's camp have yet to return. Is it possible they were captured by the enemy? The enemy features two capable strategists in Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. There is a strong possibility that they have already planned something for us. Such as false rumors, for example. Or perhaps they have sent a forged letter. As such, it is important that we seek the absolute truth in all matters. Hmm. Thank you for your opinions, everyone. We are currently looking to face one army while turning our back to another. Ma Tang of Liang Province continues to grow in strength while we deal with Sun Quan. There are many enemies besides Sun Quan and Liu Bei determined to stop us from uniting the land. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Everyone, I need you to quickly dispel your doubts and misgivings and prepare for this showdown that awaits us. I've been placed in charge of our naval training. I don't think I'm the right man for the job, though. I heard that taking on bands of pirates can be useful training. I'm not sure if I'll be any good, but I've got to give it a shot. Huh? You'll go with me? Thank you. Thank you so much.
Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Hey, hey, hey! If you don't want to die, leave your money and go. Yeah. So, you die! Yeah. Seize you! Perfect timing. Hey, everybody! See, these guys here are the guys we're supposed to fight. Shank! Shank! It's you! Perfect timing. Hey, everybody! These guys here are the guys we're supposed to fight. Uh, we lost the fight. See, I was hoping to work with these guys too. You okay? See, you okay? Surrender or die. So. You sure know how to fight. Shank, hey! Incredible! Yeah. It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. I'm sorry! I promise we'll keep away from here! So, so please, just let us go! Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Yeah. <laughs> Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Yeah, I wish. Report! Our scouts are being attacked on the way back from the enemy's camp. Hmm. But we've got our hands full too. Is there no one who can help them?
This so. will give our forces the advantage. We have to get Sick. back to our comrades. Huh. Sick. 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 This will give our forces the advantage. We have to get back to our so. comrades. See. After obtaining just the information we needed, we only to be spotted on the way back. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. Obtaining just the information we need. Yeah. Only to be spotted on the way back. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. Yeah. So. Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. Yeah. 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 There's no way you can catch up, so don't bother chasing me. I expect nothing less from my father. Eye-opening performance. Thank you so much. Now we can complete our duty as scouts. Yeah. I won't die until I get back with this information. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. I'd better fall back before things get out of hand. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Incredible! It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. The scouts have brought some good info back. Why don't you go talk to them? Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Yeah. Yeah. Father. So, is everything ready for the battle? The bandits have been dealt with. They will not bother us during the battle. We have obtained some valuable information. It will be up to our officers whether we can utilize it in battle. Hmm. In that case, I shall give the men a much needed rest. We must keep their spirits high for the battle ahead.
Our preparations for the upcoming battle are complete. We must take this time to rest and gain in strength and vigor for the challenge to come. I understand the reason why, but this is still a rather strange formation. Yes. This formation is for appearance's sake only. If we had more time, we could have done something to the ships themselves. But alas, we are lacking in both preparation and training. However, we possess the overall advantage in numbers, so... I'm curious how the enemy will come at us. I do not see them attempting to attack us on the water. I give that almost no chance of happening. You say that, yet you sound as if you still have some apprehensions. If something is bothering you, you should bring it up with our Lord. No, it's not so much that I have apprehensions. I just have a general feeling of unease. The winds have grown quite strong. A cook fire was just stirred up by the winds and almost turned into a full-fledged inferno. That reminds me, Soon Chuen is downwind of us. Shouldn't we be thinking about using a fire attack against him? That would be an option if we weren't on the river. Their navy ships are spread out, meaning a fire attack wouldn't be very effective. I see. Their navy is also well-trained. I didn't think it could be that easy. Anyway, our Lord has summoned us. Please, come with me. Very well. Let's go, Master Shunyo. This time of year, the winds along the Xiangjiang blow to the southeast from the northwest. The winds are especially strong this evening. We should be arriving at the enemy's position shortly. This is the chance we have been waiting for. We shall cross the Xiangjiang and slay Sun Quan and Liu Bei. We can overcome our disadvantage on the water through sheer numbers and superior valor. Now, follow me to victory! Ha! We shall use these northwestern winds to obliterate the enemy. This is the end for Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Report! Strategist Jugo Leong is acting suspiciously. <gasps> Defeat him! Quickly! Xiao Xiao's forces have appeared on the opposite bank. Fire! Fire at them! We've got tens of thousands of arrows here. These stores make us invincible. Yeah.
Now, take defensive positions. We cannot allow Cao Cao's army to cross the Xiangjiang. Men of Wu, form an impenetrable wall that they cannot pass. This is strange. I do not see Sun Chuen. We should cross the river and see what is going on. Face me, if you dare! That should have bought us enough time. My plan is about to come to fruition. Uh, let me see. You are amazing, Uncle. Can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Enemy stores are around you. That information has been a big help. Yeah. What? An enemy raid? They must be here for the arrows in the storehouse. Think again. We'll keep this storehouse safe. You ha! See. No fire in this storehouse. Uh, Make sure everyone knows. How could I fail to keep a single storehouse safe? I am a disgrace to my father's good name. So, report! Cao Cao's forces are attacking the stores. All our arrows are gone. Now nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Truly amazing, my lord. You are the only one capable of unifying this land. <gasps> what? All this rocking about? I can't fight like this. I feel... Terrible. We should have done something before it came to this.
Jugo Young is a brilliant strategist. He must be planning something here, too. What? But that is terrifying. Could I just stay here? There you are, forces of South yeah. South. The Ulvain camp is right here, you mangy dogs. Yeah. 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 Impressive. But tell me, have you noticed the change in the wind? Now, set fire to South South's army. We need to burn down every last one of his ships. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. Can't be. You cannot carry out a plan like this, based on the sudden change of the wind. Was everything they did up to now simply a preparation for this flame attack? Can't be. Then, you think the enemy knew about this wind, and that's why they used a fire attack? Joe Yu. No. Jugo Young. This fire will leave a bitter taste. This fire attack. Just how much planning did the enemy put into such a plot? Despite giving it much thought, our lord and our strategists never even thought of this as a possibility. They must have anticipated the change in direction of the winds, as well as our formation. Not to mention them pinning their hopes on the weather. I still cannot believe the winds changed so suddenly. This is depressing. I never even considered the thought that the battle could turn in such a manner. The flames are intense. The fire has spread to our ground forces as well. Sinking our ships will not be enough to salvage this battle. We have no choice other than to retreat. Man Chong, give the order to withdraw our forces. Yes, my lord. Sao Chiu, I want you to cut open an escape path to Xiang Yang so that our men can escape. At once, my lord, I shall do whatever it takes to protect our forces. The flames show no sign of abating. I must begin looking for a way out of here myself. Lord Sao Sao, the enemy has placed ambush troops along our escape route. Our allies are under attack on their way to Xiong Yang. Uh, the enemy has thought of everything. The brilliance of Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang seems to know no bounds. However, I refuse to let them toy with us any longer. We must defeat the enemies to the north and secure our escape route. Tell everyone to follow me! Yes, my lord! It is important to remain calm, even in the most... ...desperate situations. We must work together and break through the enemy forces. Yeah. 
Oh, the boats are on fire! Was this their plan? Is that it for Juko Leon's strategy? Or is he planning something else? Master Huang Gai's surrender seems to have been accepted without suspicion. The fire attack is a complete success. Ha! The South Shower forces are really panicking. <laughs> Master Cheng Pu says that the enemy is approaching. We need to remain alert. I've sealed this route off. Now, there is nowhere for you to run to. Yeah, well, that didn't go like I planned it. I guess this is what they mean when they say a rat is most dangerous when cornered. Yeah. Yeah. Master Joe Yu's strategy at GB is flawless. I cannot afford to let our forces down now. I still have much to learn. I must look to Master Zhou Yu's example and devote myself to my studies. So, see! You've come here to try and claim this place? See! Sorry! Ah! But you're way too late! Okay! <laughs> 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 I can't believe I got bored and let down my guard. I should be ashamed of myself for this loss. It is my duty to defend this gate. If you want to get past it, you'll have to go through me first. You're okay! Cao Cao's army has the advantage in land. However, that does not lessen the disappointment of my failure. Report! We've broken through the enemy lines and secured our escape route. We made it out alive. If we can hang on just a little longer, we can find a way to retaliate against the enemy. Report! We have located Lord Cao Cao. He is heading to the escape point. <laughs> What's so funny, Father? I thought you would be the last person to laugh at such a humiliating defeat. No, my son. Quite the opposite. We have not suffered a defeat like this since our failed attempt to assassinate Dong Zhuo. Would you agree, Sha Hodun? Hmm. I'd say the scale of the two incidents is ever so slightly different. Perhaps. But they share some similarities. They both cleared the way for me to proceed forward. Cao Cao. My path towards ruling the land remains intact. I shall put my life itself on the line in order to realize my ambitions. It's hard to believe you're so positive after such a crushing defeat. I guess nobody can say you don't look to move past your mistakes. We are with you, my lord. 
we will stand by your side for as long as you seek to push forward. Spirit alone is not enough to accomplish anything. We must quickly rebuild our forces in order to regain our strength. Yes, you are right, my son. We must do everything in our power to quickly rebuild our army. Is anybody there? Bring me Dong Zhao at once. Master Dong Zhao? Don't tell me you were thinking of being named the Duke of Wei. Yes, our enemies are not the only ones who see our defeat as an opportunity. I can sense the seeds of discord being sown against us. I feel that being appointed as the Duke of Wei is the fastest and most effective way to rebuild our strength. Forgive me, but I have already made my feelings on this matter clear. You will lose your moral standing if you claim the title of Duke of Wei. Everybody will see what you are planning. Next, you will name yourself King. And beyond that, they will simply view you as a traitor, seeking to usurp the Emperor. If so, it'll be like the Dong Zhuo situation all over again. Even if you regain your strength, you'll no longer have the people on your side. In that case, I will simply restore the Emperor to power after I have conquered the land. That is an overly optimistic viewpoint of the situation. Wei's new world order will be its own, not that of the Han. Even if you were to restore peace to the land, I imagine new rifts would arise almost immediately. Of course, it will take considerable time, but I think using the prestige and history of the Han is the best way to ensure that the land remains stable for years to come. Your words ring true and are full of merit. They also paint a very idealistic picture of the world. However, this defeat has cost me valuable time. I am no longer in a position to pick and choose the method I use to achieve my goals. I need you to understand, Shun Wu. This is the quickest way to quell the chaos that plagues the land. Forgive me, my lord, but I cannot support this course of action in good faith. Zozo, your accomplishments have clearly outshone most of my subjects. I think it's fitting that you be appointed Duke of Wei in recognition of your outstanding achievements. I have prepared ten provinces, including Chu and Qing, that you may rule in the name of Wei. Ha <laughs> ha! It shall be my pleasure to accept your generosity. Zozo, what else is it? that your heart desires. I simply seek an end to the chaos that has befallen the land. I would be satisfied with that and that alone. Congratulations on being appointed Duke of Wei, my lord. Yes. Now I can look to focus on building up our strength once more. We must avenge the defeat we suffered at Chibi. My lord, I know it is too late to change anything, but I must reiterate that I do not support this move. Your path should follow that of the Emperor. As soon as somebody thinks you plan to steal the throne, the land will find itself mired in war once again. Shun E, I want you to look after our administrative efforts in Shu Cheng from now on. 
My lord, is this... I no longer have any need of your support. You should be relocated to a position that allows you to utilize your talents. Being appointed Duke of Wei, then King of Wei, and ultimately Emperor, that is the quickest way for our Lord to bring an end to the chaos. However, that is merely in regards to us as a nation. If we also consider the hearts and minds of the people, then the dangers you raised are real. Our Lord's influence has already surpassed that of the Emperor. It is clear to any who see his appointment as Duke of Wei. That is exactly why we must decline it. Those who steal their way to power must acknowledge that whatever foundation they create may also be stolen by another. Maybe not now, but eventually. Although we are related, we have very different opinions on a variety of issues. I am content to follow our Lord's chosen path. However, if you feel it to be dangerous, you should notify our Lord as such. I doubt that he will listen to me anymore. I have a feeling he no longer has any need for strategists who will not affirm the choices he makes. It matters not what people think of my talent if I do not have a ruler willing to listen to it. I have no idea how I should proceed. We just received word that Xiang Ling is under attack from Wu. I knew Sun Xuan would make his move. It will be difficult for our men in Xing to hold them off. However, we cannot afford to send men from Shu Cheng either. So we can't spare many troops for the cause. Very well. I shall gather up what men I can find and head to Jing province. I will be right behind you. Although, I hope that nobody else looks to take advantage of this opportunity. Liu Bei, Ma Tang, there are many men who hate me dearly. Shunyo, it looks like the enemies really got you on the defensive. The Wu army has already crossed the Shengzheng and collapsed our battle lines. Liu Bei's army is currently invading Ba Shu, although he has left some troops in Jing province. As such, he is most likely sending reinforcements to Wu. So Liu Bei continues to meddle in our affairs. I knew we should have dealt with him when we had the chance. Even if we defeat Wu, we're not likely to emerge victorious. I suppose we should abandon this territory and order a retreat. Yes. Considering the troops we can mobilize at present, we have no hope at victory. We should withdraw in order to minimize our losses. No, I think we should look to press the attack against Wu. That will lead us to victory. You have some sort of plan? Very well. We shall do as you suggest, Shunyo. Thank you. 
First, we should rescue our allies that have been isolated. Once we have patched the holes along our front lines, we can launch a coordinated assault. It's a race against time to pare down the enemy forces as much as possible before Liu Bei's army can arrive. Shun E, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to remain in Shu Cheng. Forgive me, but I could not allow your path to end just yet. 